right, yeah, just right, but your bills ain't paid. Sugar daddy fly you out, but you still can't stay. Overnight, Gucci bag. Hey y'all, it's me, Pretty Witty 77 and if you're a witty, then welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, whistle. Today's video is going to be a special one and hopefully very helpful. If you guys can tell already by the title, we're going to be seeing what leave-ins mixes with Wetline Extreme. Now, as you guys may already know, Wetline Extreme has been all over the medias, honey. All on Instagram, all on Snapchat, all on YouTube. <laughs> but I feel like the problem lies with leave-ins Everyone has their own favorite leave-in. Some leave-ins that mixes with this gel might not be the leave-in that you prefer. Now, I have a very extensive, sick leave-in collection, so I've decided to just show you guys and give you guys a visual what really mixes with this gel and what doesn't. Now, because I know Wetline does have a blue, green, and clear, um, I'm not really fond of the green. The green is not really easy to get your hands on, but that blue and that clear it's always in stores i usually get mine from target i'm going to be testing it out on both colors just so you guys can see what's going to be working best for you now personally i prefer the blue wet line extreme i don't know why it's just the one that i've been working with lately but uh let's go ahead and get into discussing the leave-ins and the gels and the first leave-in that we're going to be trying today is kinky curly knot today with the blue gel, it did not mix. Um, I've tried it before off camera and it just did not mix. However, with the clear one, it still did not mix. This leave-in is so bomb, but I've never tried the Kinky Curly gel because it's so expensive and the jar is so small, but I might have to do that because it doesn't mix with a lot of things. Now the second leave-in that we're gonna be discussing is TGIN's Super Moist Green Tea Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner passed the blue gel test with flying colors and surprisingly, it passed the clear one as well. So how many of y'all like the Camille Rose Coconut Water Leave-In Conditioner? This leave-in smells so good. It really leaves my hair so, so soft. With the blue gel, it passed the test. It blended perfectly in my eyes and with the clear one, it blended as well. So this leave-in is clear across the board. Now, let's talk about this Cantu leave-in conditioner. A lot of people still use Cantu. I just haven't gotten around to actually using it on my hair as of yet, but let's discuss its results. With the blue gel, it was a pretty smooth blend, but I probably would proceed with caution depending on your hair type or other factors of maybe like if you have buildup on your hair, it could possibly turn white and it could possibly not. But it's pretty safe for a try. However, with the clear, you and the clear, go ahead and get your can to on. Now, I don't know how many of y'all on that uh, Soul Tentacles, they have a leave-in called Frizz Wiz and it smells so good. I've yet to use it, but trust me, it's coming up. This leave-in blended seamlessly with the blue gel and the clear gel. And I'm like, y'all sweet. This one probably dried, well not dried, just blended probably the clearest out of all of the leave-ins. Now, if you are my Elves fan, make some noise. This next test is going to be their pomegranate and honey leave-in. With the blue gel, it passed the test. It's totally worth a go. I would, however, proceed with caution with the clear gel. It's a little white, but like I said, as long as it's blended creamy, then it's good to try. But some people have different effects after it dries. Some might flake and some might not. Okay, so let's jump right back into the Camille Rose tip and let's discuss Curl Love Leave-In. It's probably one of their most popular leave-ins. Like, I really like this leave-in, but I will proceed with caution while using the blue one as well as the clear one. Now, it blended pretty white, but just because it's white doesn't mean it's not gonna work for you. Um, like I said, it might just appear white, and as it dries, it can dry clear, but I will, however, proceed with caution. Speaking of Camille Rose, let's discuss their Honey Leave-In Conditioner. This Honey Leave-In Conditioner is really good. I had an experience with it in the humidity, but it's all good because honey is a humectant. But this honey blended so good with the blue as well as the clear. So if you're feeling that honey conditioner, you definitely can give any one of these, the blue and the clear one, a go. 
Now, if you love you some curls for the girls, let's discuss Curls Caviar and Cashmere line. They have a hair silk leave-in. This leave-in is definitely one of my favorite leave-ins thus far. However, you want to proceed with caution when you're using the blue one. Now, I was kind of iffy about this because it wasn't clear, but it wasn't like white, white. It's worth a, it's, it's worth a go. I'm not going to give it a pass. and I'm not going to give it like a fail, but it's totally worth a go. As well as with the clear leave-in, I definitely would give it a go, but I would kind of proceed with caution and probably do it as a test wash and go or a test and don't just do it when you know you need your hair done. I would just like, you know, experiment. So let's discuss Paul Mitchell's The Conditioner. It's not one of my favorite. I tried to make it work so bad, but it is some of you guys' favorite. So, you know, I got you. So basically, I would most definitely yield to using this with the blue one or the clear one. Either one of these, it was a really white blend, but it could work or it could fail. But it's definitely not a complete fail. It's, you know, just proceed with caution. And last but definitely not least, this is one of my favorite leave-in conditioners, period. Period, honey, period. It is the Shea Moisture's Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength Restore and all the other stuff, the leave-in, okay? <laughs> this leave-in conditioner really falls onto the yield, proceed with caution category with the blue and the clear, um, but leaning more towards a pass. However, this wash and go that I'm rocking is courtesy of that Jamaican Black Castor Oil leave-in as well as the blue gel. So even though it kind of dry like a slightly creamy, I have no flakes, honey. I don't have it, okay? So, like I said, it's worth a go when it's kind of white. It's not like, oh, it's not going to work because this works. And, like, you can literally see it. You see me style my hair. If you want to see me style this wash and go with those products, I'll definitely link the, uh, I'll link, put the link in the cards above so you guys can check that out. But, this is, this wash and go is like living proof that just because it's a little bit on the white side, doesn't mean it's a complete fail just you have to give it a go so there you have it those were 12 leave-in conditioners that i feel like are on the popular side i feel like i've seen people use and talk about all of these before so i hope that i featured your favorite leave-in and you can know if you can give this gel a try without having to switch up on your favorite leave-in sis if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, sis, you made it to the end. Especially if you found this helpful, you know I might have other helpful content for you. And on your way out, go ahead and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. As always, thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.